Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will solve this lead code problem that is named as running sum of one dimension array. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. So, you will be given a one dimension array like this. And so, you have to return an array in which the elements will, will be the sum of its leading elements. What? Let's just understand with some visuals. So here I will use these two examples to demonstrate how this problem will be solved. So the first thing that we need to understand that this array, this will be given to you and what you have to return it, you have to return the sum of its elements. So let's say this first element will be returned as it is. So the first element, this one will be returned as it is. So the one will be returned as it is, right? Now, the next thing is the two. So how the, the second element will be written. So this second element of this list will be like 1 plus 2. So we will have 1 plus 2. So this will be our second element. And the third element will be 1 plus 2 plus 3. So this will be 1 plus 2 plus 3. And likewise, the last element that we will have will be the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So it will be like 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Like this. So the final list will be looking like 1. This is as it is 1. 1 plus 2, 3. 1 plus 2 plus 3, 6. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 10. So this will be our final list. Similarly, if we just take this example. So the first, the first element, the first element of the array will be as it is. Right. Now the second element we have 1, so it will be like 1 plus 3. The third element we will have 3 plus 1 plus 2. We have fourth element that will be equivalent to 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 10. And here we have the last element will be equal to 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 10 plus 1 like this so this will be our final array this is 3 as it is 3 1 plus 3 is 4 1 3 plus 1 plus 2 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 10 this is 16 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 10 plus 1 is equals to 17 so i hope you understand the logic behind this that we have to keep the first element of the array as it is and then uh, after that the remaining elements will be the sum of their leading elements right so this is how we will uh, gonna solve this problem let's just jump into the coding part so here uh, i'm here and now what do we have to do this is the very simple code and we have to just keep the first element as it is so i will be using running the loop for i in range so i will be sorry so i will be running the loop from the first index till the last index the last index would be the length of the nums right so i am just running the loop from the first index till the last index and what do i have to do here uh, at the current index in which the loop is extending we will just add we have to just add like this you can see we have to add this one to this element right so what do we have to do here we will just gonna i minus one because we have to select this this particular element if, if we are standing at this index, then we will have to select this element. So that's why I just use this nums i minus 1 plus nums i. That means the current element. And then in the end, this loop will be running like this. So in the end, we will just only return the nums. So we are not using any additional list or any data structure. So this is our final code. This is a very easy problem. Let's just run this. And you can see this is accepted. All the test cases are passed. If I talk about the time and space complexity of this algorithm, then the time complexity of this algorithm, since this algorithm is running till the or through the all of the indexes, so the time complexity will be big O of n. And if I talk about the space complexity, so space complexity, since we are not using any additional list or data structure, so the space complexity will remain 
O1. It, the space complexity will be constant. So this is your time complexity and space complexity. So I hope you understand this very easy problem. If you have any questions or queries, then you can definitely ask in the comment section. Thank you.